We are coming to you now from Japan in the northern district of the Volta region and we are here to see how the bad nature of the roads is affecting business and also transport, uh, transportation. We will be talking to business owners and drivers and uh, passengers as well to see how this is affecting their lives. For an individual who visits Volta region for the first time, the journey may be tiresome and frustrating, especially when one is not accustomed to bad roads they will have to meander and carefully select which portal to fall into despite the car one is using. Even for people who use cars like Toyota Land Cruiser V8 or a Tundra truck, the effects of the bad nature of the road is not lost on them. John Azameti uses a Toyota Ovan registered in 2019. He says traveling using that route is frustrating both for him and his passengers. Speaking to John, I realized that commercial drivers who ply the whole Accra Highway through Asikuma and Japan have to change their shock absorbers at least four times monthly, which is once every week. He says the bad nature of the roads have cut deeply into their pockets and drained them of any appreciable profit. <laughs> Some of his colleagues and passengers whom I spoke to also confirm how frustrating the journey of the route is. Many more momenyo. Overflow my book by more gaffe and Maku Movala, my fear was Maho. A momenyo crack, 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 crack. some recounted the fatal accidents they've encountered using the road. They say the accidents, which mostly occur as a result of a driver trying to maneuver and also select the less deep portal, makes them to veer off their lane and run into oncoming vehicles, especially at night as the highway has no street lights. I have been speaking to some of the residents who live on the stretch of the whole Accra Highway through Asikuma and Japan, and they say the bad nature of the road is negatively affecting their lives. Our roads are very, very bad. Uh, we will say uh, in our community like this also, we do say sometimes that our community roads are not for government. Our community roads are not to be done by the government. But they are the people who are controlling us. Here is the case of the only factory we have here. Instead of the factory to support us to do the road, they are also not helping. Especially from under bridge, ca coming to Japan or going to Ho, it's not, it's not in a good shape. When you take Eastern Corridor from Japan to, um, let me say, Peve, the roads are not good. And so uh, we are also pleading for the government or the Minister of Highway to do something about it. Other than that, some portion of the road it's no good. Um, there are potholes, and then especially where they did the railway. Um, be before you get to the railway line, the road is no good. When it rains, um, the rains flows through the place with rocks, and then most of the times cars can't even pass through that place because of how the road is. So I think something needs to be done about it. Says that our budget will be ten cedis. We are going to do twenty cedis. And I can also do it in the amount of super and a prank of Nansenia two weeks in so far. I can't answer my overtaking a quantity and soon into all dodgy potos. Well, Kuno will could drive an air so for no free and will be near a car week per no better one day. Nina will come on Tia Bain. Ye Hiano. No, no man, I'm a gentleman. Tia Hiano, more quantity. From here to Apegusu, the road is very bad, especially where the police barrier is. The road is very bad. Sometimes they used to dodge the potholes and 
uh, some time ago it nearly uh, gets an accident and so the road is very bad it's very bad and from here to Atimpoku too it's not good so they should see to it and then do whatever they can do to it for us we are suffering the road here has been in this bad state for over a decade yet nothing has been done about it after several calls for the portion of the road to be fixed but with the construction of the new buildings for the custom officers the road has been at least leveled but road users here still want the road to be tired from hallway to uh, well, the road is so bad in a way that if as a passenger sitting in a car you have when you reach you have to go to hospital when you reach you have to go to hospital or you have to get some painkillers you know to maintain your body so please the road from Huawei to Pong, very terrible and very bad. So please, we want to plead with the government to help us so that we can, you know, put the road in shape so that we, the passengers, too, we can be happy with the government uh, as a citizen in this country. We, are we, are, we drivers, we are all pleading about the government to help us from Huawei to Pong. It's very, very, very bad. As I'm talking to you right now, I, I, won't, I won't come back to Huawei again because of the road. Because of the road, it is very, very bad. So we are pleading; they should do something about it for us. Uh, the road is very, very bad, especially when you from uh, uh, Peki to Have. You can a road that will take you for about uh, uh, forty minutes, going to take you about three hours. Which we, the passengers, we are suffering a lot. When you get to this uh, uh, station, uh, the Asikuma Junction here, where the um, uh, this, uh, the customs and the, the migration officers are, they are suffering a lot. They don't even have a, a, this uh, a office to live in. When it rains, they have to be under the rain, which is very bad to uh, this thing. So we want the government to uh, come to our aid. From Asikuma towards Ho, the road looks smooth, but when one is approaching Chitu Aodome in the Ho West District, also start to appear. These portals look very dangerous as they can be seen big and deep in the middle of a curve. This zone has become a death zone as hundreds of lives have been lost here. The recent one happened when two persons on their way to the cemetery for the burial of their uncle lost their lives trying to dodge some of these portals. They have been caused by a resident in Chitu for the road here to be fixed. A person approaching a regional capital expect to see the road, if not a dual carriage, at least to be in a good shape. But a person visiting the Volta Regional Capital who, for the first time, may be disappointed, as little can be said about the roads leading to the Volta Regional Capital. The dual carriage which started in 2013 by the S12 Mahama administration is yet to be completed. With half of the dual carriage somehow completed, nothing can be said of the other. Some of the road users who spoke to me say, their lives are in danger if the other half is not completed. The, the fact is that it's, it's not good at all. And we've, we've spoken a lot about it. We've cried over and over about it. But unfortunately, nothing seems to be done. Now, the danger we face is that now the lane that should be for just a vehicle, you have, uh, for whatever reason, two vehicles trying to just use that one lane, which is, which is very uncomfortable. Even driving through the night, the last time, I had to come uh, from Accra to Ho through through the night. It was risky because then there are construction works even going on. The railways and Ho and the heavy duty cars that use the same environment really doesn't make it safe at all in any way for those using you know the vehicles, those using the the motorbikes or whatsoever they are using on on those roads. Trust me. The roads and highways authority in Ho say. Efforts are underway to put the road in a good condition. The, the Sikuma Ho Road is a national road, N5, we call it N5. And currently, as we speak now, only, only 8 kilometers of it, of the 33, it's, it's, it's in bad state. So we have a resealing project on it, and the contractor has as well. As currently, we have a physical progress of about 30, 38%. And I know that by, by the close of next year, that, that portion that is from Sokode to Enginawasi 
the contractor will complete the project so that the entire section that is from the Sikuma to to the soccer there will be will be in good condition because we did our road conditions of it quite recently and we realized only that portion was not was 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 rated very very badly as in the surface condition we had a lot of uh, bottles a lot of uh, depressions alligator cracks on the surface but because of the recent project on that particular session hopefully next year uh, that part the road will be in, in, a, in a good session residents or road users are familiar with this spot not because they have to alight from their car each time they get here to be inspected by the custom officials they are familiar with this place or this spot particularly because of how bad the road is when they get here. They are calling on the government and other state agencies to come to their aid and fix the road for them. Reporting for City News, I'm Desmond Salasiago.